Hello there, here we are in sunny North Queensland at the Cairns Australian Armour and Artillery Museum. Let's go inside and check it all, all out. I haven't been here for a couple of years, I've been here about three times. There's plenty of new exhibits to check out. Alright, so the first thing that grabs your attention when you walk in is of course this mighty big panther tank. Although, if I just pan quickly over here, apart from that beautiful T-34, what's this, a tiger? It's not a real tiger, it's a replica, but it looks imposing. Let's go over here and have a look at this panther. I'm actually shooting this at the end of the day because I looked at my video after a coffee break and it's a bit fuzzy. So, hopefully that's a bit better. So that was a Normandy panther apparently, it's got the waffle zimmer all over it. It's been restored very lovely, lovingly. And the panzer exhibit has now spilled over into this middle hall. So there's the tiger turret, they're restoring the, uh, the hull as we speak. So that's the turret with the gun, and we've got some more parts here. So we've got the Panther D glasses plate, we've got a Yag Panther side plate that's been welded back up from some exploded pieces, and an early Tiger roof. So it's got the early cupola and the other features, whereas this is a late. Lake Tiger with that sort of cupola and other features so yeah have a bit more look at this panther tank it's quite impressive the colors are quite vibrant uh, actually under these lights they look a little bit less contrasty but on the camera they're coming out quite bright and luckily of course the panther tank is right next to the play area just over there so you can hear all the kids <laughs> including my two kids who are the noisiest out of all of them here so there's the late tiger in the workshop getting restored. Looks like we got a fresh coat of paint on it from the last time I've seen it. And the new tracks. Look pretty advanced. Probably one of the funnest exhibits here in the museum is the Cat and Craft crowd. When I was here last time, I think I took about 150 photos of this thing as I was building the one ninth scale Esky Italeri uh, kit, I guess you could call it. <laughs> I would also call it a kit that you need two tubes of putty for, but yeah. This is a funky little thing, isn't it? Would you love to have one of these running around your farm? Anyway, they've just stuck it in the corner. It used to be out the front. It used to be the first thing you saw. So instead now it's with the other, the other panzers there in the background. And yes, that's fuel tanks either side of the, uh, of the driver's seat. Kapow. Panzer III has been painted in authentic Panzer Grey, there's not much, well it looks a little bit of blue, it's actually very, very, very dark. You can see the cast texture on this thing, or rolled steel armour texture from three metres away, so get out you Mr. Surfacer. The other target fours, I mean Panzer fours. Two models there, the G and I think that's an E over there. And they've also got a J in the corner there. And it, is, it does from close up, <laughs> kind of look like a little tiger. There is a Stug 3 replica here. There's a Jagerpanzer, a Zundap, and then there's the Panther just outside the pavilion. Can't fit it in just yet. Interesting little display, I wasn't here last time. We've got Panzer tracks. Hopefully you can read that, I'm not going too fast, but Panzer 3, Panzer 4, da -da -da -da. Getting some Ost Ketten or Winter Ketten, those little extensions. We're going to zoom back out and now we've got Panther tra tracks, Tiger, I think those last two are King Tiger. Yes, King Tiger. That's a great little exhibit, showing the evolution of the targets, I mean panthers, I've got to stop saying that, don't I? <laughs> so this is the main hall, and the panzer exhibit's gotten so big, they've had to throw a few more panzers out here. So there's a panzer IV, and there's a lot of allied tanks down there, I'll show you soon. Here's one of my favourites, a panzer 38T, and another half track. I'm just behind the, the Stug IV, I'll slowly pan around. They've done a really good job restoring the Stug IV, just took a few photos. 
And there's a Tiger replica just here. I think they use that for one of the one of the movies. Can't remember which one, you'll probably tell me. But yeah, I'll just swing around again. I've got a couple of Russian things over there, but this hall is huge. Look at that. And it's almost completely full. It's got a lot more vehicles in it than it did last time. And there's another hall to the left. So yeah, this is well worth your time. There's a um, Panzer III or a Stug III wreckage there on the floor. And you can probably see an Australian leopard tank over there. Let's go British. So we've got Churchill, Mark 7 there. We've got a Matilda, another Matilda, a Valentine. What else is at the back here? Is that another Valentine? That's the Archer, the soft pearl gun. So yeah, this, this part of the hall some water pieces, we've got a cute little scout car with the Lynx. When we start to come to the Shermans, there's quite a few Sherman variants here, so that's the Sexton. And then we've got the Ram Kangaroo. And if you look a bit further along there, past some of these guns, there's a few Lees and Shermans down the back, so I'll quickly go down there. So I got a request from Peter about the 2S7 self-repelled gun, which is by far one of the biggest exhibits here. Although there is the Churchill based toe just behind it, which is quite massive. So Peter, I'll just zoom in or come in here and have a look at some of the hydraulics that you've asked for and I'll take some photos as well. But yeah, it's um, quite an impressive beast. I'll take some photos. So the Russians are here. <laughs> so I've just come past all the British tanks. Here's some Russian tankettes. You've got the T26s captured one there and we just went past the SU-76 took a few photos of the world seams on that one just to give you an idea of how rough they can get and uh, yeah I'm gonna head up here to an SU-100 which from memory the world seams on those are massive but I'm um, getting to the American stuff although my kids just asked to go on an APC ride on well, that thing out there and it's pouring with rain so I might get a bit wet stay tuned I think that's an FV-432, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> so we're getting into more modern stuff now, into the other side of the pavilion here. Here's an old friend, I recognise this chap, the Australian Leopard AS1. And there's a Jeppard and a few other Leopard vehicles here. And of course, the mighty Centurion plus, what's that, an M60 or M48 pattern? Yeah, there's just... Oh, and a Chieftain, there you go. So for the kids, there's a <laughs> little play area there in a nice cafe, which I've just left. Here's the Leopard. So anyway, I'm just gonna keep going down here and take some more photos and talk about some of the more recent additions that they've had to the exhibit, which is great. One of the most interesting new additions is this. Look at this. This is a Japanese Hargo. Okay, it's in remarkable condition. And they've only just acquired this. So this is the Type 95. Argo, and yeah, it looks complete. Which is amazing, they're just so rare. I'm getting a bit more Soviet style over here, a few trucks and things, and of course that massive, what's it, 2S7 thing here. But this is, um, as you just walk straight in, you get all these artillery pieces right here on the floor and then behind them of course are some relatively modern tanks starting with a T-55, Chieftain, M-47, the Mighty Centurion, T-72, uh, a Jagerpanzer, what else we got there? Is it an M-48? I mean it just goes on and on and on. So there's quite a variety here. The only thing sort of missing here is probably a, a modern main battle tank like an M-1 Abrams or uh, you know something unobtainable. I mean a T-72 is still pretty modern. So yeah, I'm just going to keep on going. Uh, I've been here a few hours now. <laughs> Didn't expect to be here so long, but it's been so much fun. Uh, there's so many new things to discover and, and to film and take some detailed photos. I need to go back. I'm building a M3, so there's an M3 in that far corner, way, way over there. I need to take some photos because I don't think Tacom's got the details quite right. So here we go. So I think this is the end of it. We're here at the end, at the far end of the pavilion. This is the US. Uh, World War II section, so it's got a couple of behemoths here, they've got the LVT in the corner next to the uh, M8 Greyhound and a few M3 Lees of which I've just taken a hundred photos since I'm building one of them. So yeah, I'm running out of juice on the battery, 
and I've taken a couple of hundred photos, including a few requests, and I think I'll end it here. So um, let's go down. We've got one Sherman, one Sherman intact here, an M4A1 to have a look at, and there's another LVT in, stuck in the corner, and a few M5s, and a, a, sh a Shafi as well. So there's quite a lot here. I recommend anyone come here. You'll be here for at least half a day. Here's the M3 Grant. Painted up nicely and M3 Lee. And there we have it. So I think that'll be the end of that. What else is hiding around the corner there? A few big guns and so forth. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. And yeah, I'm going to, oh, I'll go outside and I'll show you the outside here. So that was that little APC we took for a little ride, and FV432 with the back cut out. And there's a nice sunny, <laughs> it's raining all the way around here up the tropics at the moment. It's really warm. So with that, I'll leave you to it and cheers.